78th story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, real prosperity. A rich man asked Sengai to write something for the continued prosperity of his family so that it might be treasured from generation to generation. Real prosperity. Everybody was looking for that one. But when you get disconnected from your family, the joint family, or just the family itself, is the first step of your destruction. First step of your disconnecting from your prosperity. Prosperity in the sense of the materialistic world is to have a beautiful house, to have a beautiful car, to have peace of mind, to have enough bank balance. But to have that, you have to make sure that you do not shake the foundation. People, once they get their education to the highest level, they start soaring into the beautiful sky. And from that sky, when the parents or the family people try to say something, they spit from the sky like the kite on the, you are like a kite when you get the highest education. You spit from the top and that spit falls on your family. You tell that father, mother is not educated. They do not understand our language. Our family doesn't understand language. Our ladies don't understand our language. We should not allow them. Immediately what happened? The string which has been pulled for your kite to fly higher get disconnected. And you are very happy because now there is no connection. Nobody is pulling the string so that for you to get connected, for you to not to forget to get in the messy world of the materialistic world, to get connected to family. But within seconds, you know, but for the seconds for the materialistic world can be a year, a decade. When you go to US or other countries, you will find your prosperity, whatever you made, is not going a hit like the Kaisan. Every day one improvement. It is instead every day one destruction. In 365 years, 365 destruction, mental, physical, spiritual, in everything. You get disconnected. That prosperity is, you have to think, to have a prosperity, you have to connect to your family. And the family automatically have the love relationship with the family, joint family and the family tree. Senge obtained a large sheet of paper and wrote, father dies, son dies, grandson dies. The rich man became angry. I asked you to write something for the happiness of my family. Why do you make such a joke as this? No joke is intended, explained Sengai. If before you yourself die, your son should die. This would grieve you greatly. If your grandson should pass away before your son, both of you would be broken hearted. If a family generation after generation passes away in the order I have named, it will be the natural course of life. I call this real prosperity. The rich person asked what is prosperity and Sengai, the Zen master, said, yes, father dies, son dies, and grandson dies. So the rich man gets angry. Why do you make a joke? So the master said, suppose your son dies before you, your grandson dies before you, you both will start grieving. You will start grieving. That means you get disconnected from the course of the development in the house that you have not given the respect what has been in the family. The head of the family is respected. His ideas are taken. His experiences have been counted. And then his love is stabilized. And automatically, when that happens, there's no 
tension in the house, everybody knows whom to talk. And then the next the son takes over, he gets the same experiences, including the women in the house, make sure that no overtaking is allowed. Overtaking is most of the time meets with an accident in the road. The son never takes overtakes the father, neither grandson. In that order, if that order is so beautiful, there is less of diseases, less of stress. Because a family which eats together, prays together, grows together, have always have prosperity. Money was not counted because money was excess. Fruits and vegetables in the family is excess because the family tree and the joint family tree and the and the people in that whole group is so powerful.